In about an hour, family and friends of a woman found dead in the Valley of Fire will be holding a vigil. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Denise Valdez. That group will remember 22-year-old Leslie Palacio, who was reported missing in early September as police search for her killer. Joe Moeller joining us now live from the family's home where the vigil will take place. Now, hey there, family and friends now really looking for answers, and they have been for some time. These flyers are still outside of the family's home here. Like you would mentioned, this vigil is happening in about an hour's time. Tonight, the search is on for two suspects. Today, we stopped by the suspect's home. A neighbor tells us they left. The search is on for 25-year-old Eric Rangel Abara and 45-year-old Jose Rangel. Leslie Palacio was last seen on the security video with Eric on August 29th at the Longhorn Casino on Boulder Highway and Harmon. A pickup truck the men were last seen in has been located in California. I really don't understand because I, I saw these people right, right here for like eight or nine years. This is where the men lived with their family, according to a neighbor. It's just blocks away from Leslie's family home. The neighbor who did not want to show her face says the family left. I don't saw any, nobody for six days, so I know more than six days. A friend of Palacios shared this photo of people outside the home on September 1st. The neighbor tells me people were coming by to pick up items. Then days ago, the police came. Well, I just saw the police, a lot of police over there and checking around the house and, and they go in the house. They go in the house and checking for the people, I think so, I don't know. It's unclear where they went, but the neighbor says the parents are from Mexico. And now back at here live, we did reach out to Metro regarding this case. They said there's no update as of this hour. That vigil is planned here to happen in about an hour's time. If you wanted a link to that GoFundMe, you can find it up on our website, 8newsnow.com. Reporting live in the Southeast Valley, I'm Joe Muller, 8 News Now.